This video is on having a broad range of awareness of experience, <coughs> both on a physical level and also on the level of one's mood and emotions. So the training of coming into awareness and staying with awareness opens up the range of what is here. Now, the, the way that this works is that you start to notice that there's a range of experience from comfortable to uncomfortable. And this then allows you to have awareness that holds the whole range of uh, uncomfortable to comfortable or unpleasant to pleasant. So in this way, the awareness holds the range so what this does in a very positive way is that it stops the mind reacting away from the uncomfortable and the unpleasant into uh, emotions or moods on an unconscious level, getting irritated or annoyed or cut off. It, it kind of stops that process or it stops the process of getting anxious when something is uncomfortable. Because what it does is that it allows you to stay with it and have perspective on that uncomfortable experience. And that then gives perspective on, is this really something to worry about <laughs> or be anxious about or something that can be handled or done something about? So in that way, having perspective gives you choice. Actually, you then s settle into the awareness, the, the, the broad, all-encompassing awareness that takes in this range. And the awareness itself softens the impact of what is unpleasant or uncomfortable. And you can then stay with it, and it has its own uh, satisfaction. Uh, now, if there is an unpleasant or uh, difficult experience in the body, it might need paying attention to. So, but you have a choice. So what you're countering here is the automatic don't like that, focus somewhere else, or don't like that, block it off. And in that way, that sense of denial of what is actually happening and the ability to have a choice about whether you actually do something about it. There might be something that's nagging on you that uh, is making you anxious that does actually need attention. And by actually going, oh, that needs attention this week, in a way, the, the anxiety isn't necessary anymore. It's just given you the warning, this needs doing, and you've decided to do it. So in that way, you clear anxieties, as it were, issue by issue, as you go, oh yeah, that is something I need to do, or that isn't something that I need to face. And in doing that, that the, the worry or the anxiety subsides because it's clear what needs to be done if anything can be done. So, on the other side of the spectrum, being aware of pleasant and unpleasant, pleasant and comfortable uh, experiences in the body and in the mood are also sometimes things which might be quite difficult to stay with. There might be a lot of energy in them. Well, part of the practice of mindfulness allows you to expand your capacity to experience just enjoyment and pleasure in its sort of innocent form without going off in some kind of idea about it, just experiencing it. So in this way, mindfulness allows you to have a range of uncomfortable and comfortable, unpleasant and pleasant uh, experiences. It gives you choice about what you're going to do with them rather than uh, having automatic cut-offs or preferences.